All right, let's talk about safety features that you should know driving a truck. One, where is your safety fire extinguisher? Is it fully charged? The other thing DOT can ask you, where is your triangles? You can see, I can talk to the triangle container is right there. Let me open it up and let's talk about those triangles. Alright, here is the triangles. As you can see, there's three in the box. How do you open them? How do you use them? This is what they look like. Alright, there's one triangle. There's three. You're supposed to have three in the box. These fold up. As you can see they fold up. This one folds up. Is that how triangles work? No. You notice here and there it turns to give it a base. So that is the triangle. How do you use these triangles, do you I, I ask? Let's talk about triangles. But first, we put this one back in that box back in my drawer. Alright, it is back. Put back in. So let's cue that intro and let's talk about proper ways to use. So we're talking about safety devices semi-truck drivers should use and know. One, where your fire extinguisher is and how to use it. Two is the triangles. When are you supposed to put your triangles out? Do you know? If you're broke down on the side of the road for flat tire, whatever, you're broke down. You have 10 minutes to put the triangles out now I ain't mentioning no names but there's a lot of companies out there a lot of drivers do not know how to put the triangles out correctly do you know let's talk about how you're supposed to do it you get three triangles I'm gonna go outside and show you some of the way you're supposed to do it and the way I've seen it, we'll talk about it. But if you're on a four line divided highway or interstate, traffic is only going one way. You do not put a triangle out in front of your truck, 10 feet, 20 feet. Now, is the cops going to come and say, well, you didn't put it out exactly at 100 feet or 200 feet or whatever? No. It gives motorist warning you're broke down on the side. Plus, if you have power, flash, your four ways. But within 10 minutes, you're supposed to have your triangles out. Do you know where your triangles are? You're supposed to know. Do you know where your fire extinguisher is? You're supposed to know. Most of the time, they're right beside the driver's seat for a reason. It's easy to grab. Now the triangles, they're kind of hard because if you got stuff in the side box like I do and you got it strapped down like it is and all that, it takes a few minutes to get the triangles out. I showed you how hard it is. It's kind of hard holding the phone and recording to put them out. But let's talk about where to place the triangles. Okay, if you're on a four lane divided highway, interstate, whatever, if there's a median between you two, you do not put a triangle out in front of your truck. The people already know because they're only going one way. 
they know you're broke down. You're supposed to have the triangles 10 feet from the bumper, 100 feet, and 100 feet. That is if you are on a four-lane interstate, whatever, divided highway with a median between you two. Now, if you're in a two-lane road and in a curve, you do put the triangle one in front of your truck about 10 feet or before the curve to give people warning, hey, there's something broke down, and then there's 10 feet and 100 feet in your back. Now, if you're broke down past the curve on a four-lane divided highway, you put 10 feet, about 100 feet, and before the curve, so people can see going up before you get the curve to 100, you know, we're saying 100 to 500 feet, whatever. If there's, if you're real close to a curve like that, a blind curve, put the triangle out so people can see, hey, there's something going on. And you put it on an angle. You don't leave it straight out. So many times I see triangles put out in front of the truck. Let's go outside and let's talk about it. Where I have seen, yeah, now I'm at a truck stop, I'm on the side of the road. Like I said, if you broke down more than 10 minutes on the shoulder, you have to put triangles out. Have your four ways on, you need to warn the, American, you know, the public, you're broke down on the side of the road. So let's go outside and let's show you. Well, since I'm gonna show you, let me go ahead and make sure you have enough gloves. Because I t tend to wear mine out before I replace it. I, I just need to replace gloves. Grab my trusty hammer. Since I'm out in the mountain, Talk. Let's walk and talk. The lights of four ways are working. I'm going to fuel. Up. That's why the root uh, bags are making noise. But so many times I see drivers putting a triangle underneath the trailer. What about here? Why would you have a triangle underneath the trailer? Foreign minds want to know who's told you that? Now I'm not jumping the ditch and all. Like I said, I'm out here taking the lights. But see you broke down, you got your lights and your four ways going. So from that corner there, go out about 10 feet, put a triangle about where I'm sitting. Then you would turn around, put a triangle about 100 feet, and then another 100 feet, put it all on an angle. Yeah, if you're on a four lane divided highway or a two lane highway, but not in a curve. Don't put a tri triangle underneath the trailer. Pins are out. you're in a curve on a two lane road. 
but so many times I see triangles underneath the trailer they don't go under the trailer they don't go front of the truck if you're on a divided highway only time you put a triangle in front of your truck if you're in a two-lane road in a curve let me know have you seen triangles at places like you're like what in the hell were they thinking because trust me i see it all the time i ain't gonna mention some names there's one company in particular out of nashville tennessee they're very bad that express company is very bad out of nashville tennessee not knowing how to place triangles on a, on a truck. Like I said, 10 minutes. You have to have your triangles out if you're broke down on the side of the road. 10 minutes. Let's look at some of the, some uh, photo, screenshots I took at different sites talking about where to place and how to place your triangles. So, there's a couple pictures there I just sent you. I hope this will get spread so people know how to put triangles out. That is something that's not taught that much. I saw our safety guy here at Tyson when I got my 100,000 mile ring beginning of the month. My ring. And I told him, I said, hey, each month we do a safe, they do a safety video. I'm like, I think you need to talk about how to place triangles for people broke down. He's like, thank you for that idea. That's a great idea. I'm like, yeah, you should see how drivers place triangles. I haven't seen Tyson drivers place them wrong, but still, they're not taught in orientation. I doubt they're taught much in school about proper triangle placement. I'm not talking about flares because hazmats and all that you can't deal with flares you're supposed to use triangles or flashing lights i know they uh some truck stop sells a little flashing lights you can do but it's a 10 feet 100 feet and another 100 feet i hope this helps if you have any comments questions or if i got something wrong let me know have you seen drivers placing triangles out wrong i know i surely do and I just go, what the hell were they thinking every time I see it? Hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. And if you're new, 
hit that subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost a dime. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Browse Trucking Out.